As health officials sound the alarm on Omicron, Delta is still the dominant strain in the U.S. right now. All right, and believe it or not, scientists say it's actually possible to contract both variants. Mac King on the Upper East Side now with more on this troubling new development. Mac. Yes, yeah, Steve, Teresa, well, Delta is the dominant variant in this country, as you just mentioned. Omicron has arrived, is spreading, and appears poised to replace Delta. But until then, scientists worry that we could face the possibility of two epidemics at the same time, with both Omicron and Delta able to infect the same person at the same time. They are different enough that potentially one person could be infected with both of those at the same time. Epidemiologist in Montclair State University public health professor Dr. Stephanie Silvera reminds us, in addition to a global pandemic once again sending cases spiking during the colder months here in the United States, it is also flu season. So while we might catch Omicron or Delta or Omicron and Delta at the same time, we also risk a concurrent flu infection on top of one of or on top of both of those variants. If you have more than one, you're more likely to be um, have more severe illness um, and those symptoms might come on more rapidly. Potentially worse still, as we watch those around the world previously infected with Delta contract Omicron, showing minimal natural immunity to the new variant, it remains possible the world's current two dominant variants remain distinct enough to create two separate epidemics at the same time, instead of Omicron fully replacing Delta. They may be that different, and I think we're still learning about whether or not that's going to be the case. And while on average, Omicron appears to cause milder illness than previous variants, especially among the vaccinated, some of the unvaxxed, the elderly, the immunocompromised, and the various combos of those at-risk groups will end up with more serious cases. If you have Delta posing that risk, as well as Omicron, as well as the flu, we could be setting ourselves up for a really significant healthcare crisis again. Dr. Silvera and every other public health official on the planet stress the need for ventilation, masking, vaccination, and booster shots for all of us to help reduce the strain this winter surge places on our health care systems. On the Upper East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Steve, Teresa. All right, Matt, thank you.